Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from inside a cupboard in this Let's Play Outlaw series. In the previous episode, we outran a security guard that was beating the jazz out of a dead corpse. And in this episode, to be honest with you, I have zero idea what the jazz I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm assuming it's got something to do with that security room that we were in. So we're going to try get back there, try get into that place without alerting that dude. But guys, it is freaking night time. The, li the lights in my flat are off and I am literally jazzing in my pants every single second that I play this game. And I, and I honestly hope that you guys are doing the same. <laughs> I, I don't want to be the only one experiencing this, experiencing this sheer terror. And I hope you guys are freaking suffering as much as I am, man. Because this, this is some scary jazz. Um, but it looks like we want to get in here. But it looks like this door is locked and the entrance look like, looks like it's completely jammed up. That security guard doesn't seem to be interested in us. But there's a security guard through there that is very interested in us, unfortunately. And uh, this door doesn't open either. I don't know what's up with that guy, man. But there's a guy in here who, who's got serious beef with us. And, I'm, and I mean serious beef. So, so I'm not going in that door again, man. Hello? Okay. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. Ooh, what's that? Bam! Oh, yes! Okay, sweet. Now we just gotta get back to that entrance, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no. There, is there a cupboard around here? There's a cupboard! Get in the cupboard! Quickly, bro! Ooh, doggy! Nothing to see here, bro! Oh, did he just open that cupboard? No, please don't open this one. Oh my goodness. He freaking opened the cupboard next to us. That is truly terrifying. Truly, truly terrifying. Okay, we gotta try get past this guy somehow. No! No, 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 again! Dude, you've already looked in here. There was no one in here, man. There's no one in here, bro. Please go away. Leave me alone, please. I see. We can play. I like games. No, no. I'm not playing a game with you, bro. What, would you want to play Tetris or something? You want to play Snap? I got a deck of cards. We can play some Snap. I'm going to own you, though. I'm a Snap pro. You're a freaking zombie with no brain. Run. Oh, he killed that guy. He freaking killed his buddy. Run. Run, run, run. <laughs> Okay, this is looking good, guys. Things are looking up. We are getting our buttholes out of here. No! Paragons of patience. Joe-like in the suppression of our desires. But now... Now... Now we indulge. Yeah. No! Don't indulge! Don't indulge! Leave me alone, bro! Why do those guys have beef with me, man? Space. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't insult their mamas or anything. Here's an open window. Back. 
Oh god. Follow the blood into the showers. I don't want to go into the showers. I don't need a shower. I actually showered about 30 minutes ago, man. I don't need a freaking shower. This door needs a key card. But where's the freaking key card? Have you got a key card? Okay, maybe we can go in here, right? Yeah, there's got to be a key card in here somewhere. Hello? Have you got a key card there, dude? That's a new note, though. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Charitable organization, my ass. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Well, yeah. Don't know about that one. You do realize this place is infested with zombies, right? What is this? Well, we got a battery at least, so that's good. But no key card. Is the key card down at that dead security guard? Maybe there's a clue over here. But check out the sweet Windows screensaver. It's awesome. Anything happening on these screens? What is that noise, man? It's freaking me the jazz out. So I'm guessing we have to go in here. We have to go into the darkness. Alright, game. Bring it on. Bring it on. I know you're about to scare the living jazz out of me. Just do it. Let's just get it over and done with. There's a key card. There's a key card. Run! Okay. Alright. We're into the showers. We are into the showers. And it's not looking good. Nope, not looking good at all. Oh god. Someone's in trouble. Exit through the showers. Let me out of here, please! Oh god! Oh god! Are they naked? They are naked! <laughs> what have we learned? Never run headlong into a naked guy. That, that, that's, what, that's what we just learned. Well, at least we now know what to do. Exit through the showers! Get out of here! My God. Vanished. 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 I just had <laughs> the guy's being sarcastic. At least these zombies have a sense of humor, right? Go away from here! Is it safe? Seriously, why can't I just drop now? Okay, maybe I'll break a leg, but at least I'll be able to drag myself out of this place. Alright, they're gone. Sweet. No more naked guys, please. Like, a naked guy with a knife coming at you. I mean... Necessary? People who made this game are freaking crazy. That's all I have to say about that. What have we got over here? An, e an, es an elevator or an escalator or elevator, but it looks like it's... Can I break this glass? No. Okay, we've actually, we've been in the security room before. Okay, we're on the other side of the security room. Okay, this is good. This is good. We gotta go this way, right? Ooh! That's exit! We're still trapped in here. Oh no. Some sort of torture chamber?
documents? Dr. Wernick's death certificate. Purge gate maintenance memo. What's that? Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to pro pro Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corp. Maintenance manual something. Or seek guidance from a supervisor with proper security clearance. Okay, so this uh, Project War Rider is obviously some sort of, I don't know, genetic experiment or something to make people invisible or something. Man, that is, <laughs> that is a crazy torture chair. Because it's like a torture chair, but they let you go to the toilet. <laughs> so like you get, you get a, a comfort by being able to go to the toilet, but... You also get tortured, <laughs> which, uh, you know, it's kind of counterproductive, really. But, uh, yeah, this place is absolutely disgusting. How the jazz are we going to get out of here, man? It's only half past nine. There doesn't seem to be any air vents or anything going on up in here, man. Damn, this dude... This dude got owned. Owned hard. What do you got? Like, these are the showers. Okay, so we came this way. Is there absolutely nowhere to go over here? This takes us back here. Which is obviously... Okay. Alright. So it looks like this is uh, where we're supposed to be going. Press button! Oh no! Oh no! Oh lord! No dude! Dude relax! Oh! I think we can get up here! Go go go! Oh! He smashed that glass so hard it actually broke the freaking vent! That is not cool! No! Oh no! Oh no! No, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Close! You can't go through there! Ow! I'm burning! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. 